Hello and welcome. You're watching 84 TV Radio News Update, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's capital. I am Adirayo Senami. Kaduna State, Nigeria has extended the 24-hour curfew in Jamaa and Kaura to Zankunkata, local government's area of the state, due to the recent spate of reprisal attacks. Governor Nasir El Rafai, in a tweet on Friday, said the extension is with immediate effect to help contain violence and force order and protect lives in the troubled areas. The curfew extension was done at the request of security agencies in Kaduna State. Meanwhile, the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority Friday authorized the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria to reopen Benin and Jos airports. Director General of the NCAA, Captain Mosa Nuhu, said the airports were instructed to reopen after satisfactorily meeting the NCAA requirements. Nigeria is recognized as a great regional force in Africa, not only because of its size, but because of its political and economic role on the continent. In the light of President Mohamed Buhari's recent visit to Mali to mediate in the crisis torn country, Ambassador Hassan Mohamed speaks with 84 TV Radio. He highlights Nigeria's foreign external interventions and its role as giant of Africa. In ECOWAS, Nigeria is Nigeria's economy and population is 50% of the West African economy and the numbers. So uh, this is. Because of this, we can't afford uh, to let it go. We have to have the people, we have to see and to be seen that we are, are protecting our national interest by being the big brother is we are helping ourselves and we are helping them. But if you are a selfish senior brother, I think your uh, siblings will not uh, record well with you. In another development, the Minister of Information and Culture Friday announced via Twitter that it will discontinue indefinitely stipends to beneficiaries of the NPAR scheme, as it has expended hundreds of billions of naira in the scheme in the last four years. The liaison officer to the Accountant General of the Federation has been authorized to ensure that all outstanding legitimate stipends should be paid to the recipients. 84 TV Radio spoke with the beneficiary of the scheme. Here's that report. NPAR is a youth empowerment scheme sponsored by the federal government of Nigeria to address the challenge of youth unemployment. It was established in 2016. In June this year, the federal government in a press statement through Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs said it would discontinue payment of stipends to the badge A and B beneficiaries. A little bit sad. No, sad actually because I thought they, they will permanent us, but throwing us back to the labor market, I felt like they, they didn't try at all. But I'm grateful. It would have been helpful if they did give a permanent appointment to them to reduce uh, most youth being on the streets. It has not gone down well with the empire beneficiaries, which give rise to the protests that happened on Thursday in Abuja, the empower beneficiaries had to march down to the National Assembly, then from National Assembly down to uh, the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. Shortly after the announcement was made, a group of protesters stormed the National Assembly requesting for automatic employment of all 500,000 beneficiaries as well as payment of grants of 600,000 naira each. Jessica Ochai. Reporting for AD4 TV Radio. We'll take a break now when we return. Ghanaian retail traders in Fraka with Nigerian counterparts. Stay with us. Details coming shortly. My name is Ehi Ohiani. My name is Coach Sam. My name is Enna Ede. And my name is Dr. Henry Owando. Keep watching AD4 TV Radio. And keep watching AD4 TV Radio. Keep watching AD4 TV Radio. I'd like you to stay tuned to AD4 TV Radio and you'll never miss it. AD4 TV Radio. Reliable and credible. Welcome back. You're watching AD4 TV Radio News Update. More than 70% of micro enterprises have had to terminate full term employee contracts since the start of the COVID 19 pandemic. Governments across the world have been repeatedly tested and stretched. They've set new rules and norms to try to re-establish confidence and give economies a chance of survival. Speaking on 84 TV Radio, social entrepreneur Kate Pam 
discusses how this has impacted on women entrepreneurs and what can be done by different players to make sure we move in the right direction. The pandemic has really affected small businesses particularly and if you look at our economy, small businesses constitute over 90 percent of businesses in Nigeria and of this 90 percent over 50 percent of them are micro enterprises so when you look at my micro enterprises those are people that have five and below employees the turnover is 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 at the well maximum maybe 50 million naira if they have that kind of turnover so you look at businesses within that um, category so what i will say to the female entrepreneurs don't give up most businesses on on the normal day in normal circumstances, it's J curve. It takes about three years for you to come out. With the pandemic, we have an extra two, three years or thereabout, depending on how things go. Keep thinking outside the box. Don't give up on yourself. There are so many opportunities that will come out of this pandemic. And in Accra, members of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Guta Friday, clashed with Nigerian traders who are operating illegally at the Kwame Nkrumah Circle, Accra. Gota had directed them to remain closed until they provide legal documents. President of the association, Dr. Joseph Obeng, explained that about 90% of the Nigerian traders did not meet the requirements needed to operate in the country. This is not the first standoff between Ghana and Nigerian traders. In November 2019, there was a similar incident that escalated tensions between the two West African countries. In a developing story, two-time Academy Award winner Tom Hanks, who recently recovered from COVID-19, has just signed a deal with Ace Games to lend his voice as a concession vendor. A Games announced via Twitter that the actor's voice will be heard as a virtual guest hawker peddling hot dogs, peanuts and soda as part of the crowd noise piped into the Coliseum during games in 2020. Tom Hanks served as a peanut vendor for the A's during his youth. And that's it on 84 TV Radio News Update, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's capital. You can join the conversation on our website at www.84tvradio.com. Please follow us on our social media platforms at 84 TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at 84 TV Radio. Many thanks for watching. I am... Adirayo Senami.